Hey, Flair fam, how we doing? Um, wanted to tap back in real quick and talk about the uh, a couple of things, the emissions protocol, which are essentially some rewards. Um, there was a vote that hopefully you participated in the governance proposal that the Flair Foundation had, uh, FIP.09, which was essentially opening up protocol emissions, uh, which are really just rewards. Uh, in order to incentivize liquidity being being brought to the Flare network, and that would be via DEXs, lending protocols, and other DAPs. Uh, on my screen is the actual governance proposal, which you can read for your uh, for your viewing pleasure. But essentially, essentially, they allocated uh, 510 million of the 20 billion that's been allocated as an incentive pool. Uh, 510 million. All these protocols, DAPs, DEXs. Um, their their objective is to um, is to bring liquidity, and uh, the, those emissions can be used in order to uh, incentivize liquidity. So, if you participate in any of those particular incentives, uh, incentives or liquidity pools, um, there's there's rewards for us, and of course they've got a grant schedule. Um, it's a monthly allocation across those that are participating. And um, if they want their full allocation, they have to wait 12 months to claim them. Uh, so if they want all 24 months, they'd have to wait uh, 12 months. They're gonna have to wait all 24 months in order to get all of them. It's a 12 month uh, kind of pay as you go type of a deal. If they decide they wanna take their allocation, monthly allocation, they can do it, but they're gonna sacrifice 50% of their allocation on this grant. So anyway, there's, there's some different uh, tweets out there about it. There's the portal link that talks about it. Um, so there are a couple of uh, DEXs that we know that are participating uh, in this. One of those DEXs I already did a video on uh, that that DEX was uh, Spark Dex, right? Spark Dex uh, AI. They are um, also who's also participating is and there goes Spark Dex right there. Let's see. Here we go. You see my screen here. There's a tweet that came out. Spark Dex. They are participating. They got some sick APRs uh, for participating. It's offering additional rewards to LPs that support Flare. So you can see they've got 334% on the Flare USDC, USDT, etc. Right. Uh, who else is also participating? Blaze Swap is participating. So for liquidity provided. Uh, at Blaze Swap, um, the WFLR slash USDC dot E pool, uh, there is a 40%. Um, they're projected approximately 40% APY if you provide liquidity to Blaze Swap. Now, uh, I'm already as a straight DGEN participating uh, already in Spark Spark Dex. I think I showed you guys that, um, and so I'm already participating in that. But what I wanted to show you today is if you wanted to do some on Blaze Swap. Now, again, not financial advice at all. Um, I'm just a straight DJ, but I also like to do these so I can do a video on them as well. But, um, you know, like if I have Spark Dex paying me an APY of 334% right now for a LP pool of Rap Flare USDC, and then I got Blaze Swap pay me a 40% uh, as a DJ and you know where I'm going with my money. But I want to show you because I did put a little bit of liquidity in uh, when I was playing around to test it out. I want to show you if you wanted to do it on Blaze Swap, how to do that. Um, so these rewards you will ask, you might ask, how will I see these rewards and where will I see these participation uh, emission rewards? Well, I'm glad you asked that question. If you go over to portal.flare.network, right? It used to show just account, staking, voting, right? But under account, you've got your main account and they've added a new tab called emissions. And you can see here where it says select the project. There's no projects available. But any, and you have to do everything in the same wallet, by the way. So right now, it's not showing anything right now, okay? Uh, but the liquidity I have locked up in Spark Dex, the liquidity I have locked up in uh, Blaze Swap, because they are participants and grant recipients of the emissions schedule, 
when this is updated, we'll start to see those projects. So we'll see Blaze Swap liquidity. We'll see Spark Dex liquidity. There's others that are out there. Um, you know, they're incentivizing and providing some emissions to them as well. You'll see them here. You'll see your balance. You'll see available funds, lock funds. Um, they're eligible for airdrops as well. So you'll start to see them here at the portal.flare.network. But what I wanted to show you today is if you wanted to do something on Blaze Swap, how to do it so that you can take advantage of the 40% they're offering. Because typically when you go to Blaze Swap, you got the swap page and they're a little janky. Uh, you got the pool page, which really this doesn't really give you any. This tells you there's rewards associated with it, but it doesn't really give you any direction. So I was just going to do a quick video to show you how to do that. But if I want to do that, I need some USDC.E and I need some wrap flare. And as you know, you have a couple of different options uh, with your wrap flare. But if you want to get some USDCE, right? They actually, they have it now. Here, look at this. They have it now on Blaze Swap. Blaze Swap. I was going to say you got to go to Spark Dex and get it. So um, I'm, I already have it loaded up where I'm swapping some of my wrap flare for, for USDCE. So I'm going to hit swap. I'll confirm my swap because I need to get some USDCE so that I've got USDCE and wrap flare so that I can put together that LP pull, uh, pairing and then uh, submit it and farm with it and get the extra rewards. Again, I'm going to show you how to do it on um, Blaze Swap. Um, I already have some liquidity on Blaze Swap. Uh, I already have some liquidity I'm providing already on Spark Dex, um, not financial advice. But if I were going to do this, uh, two things. One is obviously I'm going to go with the one with the higher APY, right? So Spark Dex is, um, you know, 334 percent APY, really, versus 40 percent on Blaze Swap. Um, yeah, I don't think there's too much of a question there which one I would do. But um, it's also important to remember, as I always state, when you're dealing with liquidity pairing, liquidity pulls, and permanent loss, and permanent loss, and permanent loss. You may go into it with 4,662 wrap flare, um, but you know you always risk that number could go down, that number could go up. Um, your equivalent in terms of USDC can change because of the impermanent loss. So you may start with 4,662 wrap flare, but, you know, with impermanent loss, you could end up with 1,000, 2,000, 5,000, right? That number will change depending on the price, depending on the pairing prices and, um, and where they go. So just understand and know that um, if you got some flare bags and you don't want to affect the value in terms of the quantity of flare bags you've got, don't use them in liquidity pairs. Just hodl, just stake or delegate um, you know, or, you know, uses collateral when the F asset system comes out. Um, don't play in the liquidity pools because with the permanent loss, very good chance you could lose your uh, quantity of FLR that you're dealing with. Uh, SFLR, right, the staking, um, uh, Flare, WFLR, whatever you're using, any impermanent, you, you're going to risk losing it with impermanent loss. All right, so my swap is moving like molasses uh, drying on a, a, a cold winter day. Um, so let me see. Sometimes it just hasn't updated and it's just moving a little slow. Let me see if so. No, it doesn't look like we've got any, any action yet happening on this thing here. Uh, Internet is a bit challenged today again. I've already started one video and then had to stop the video and restart again. So it looks like we're still under swap and swapping doesn't usually take this long, but it is. Anyway, so we're going to swap. We'll let this swap out. Once it swaps out, we're going to have USDC.E. We're going to have some flare. Uh, we're going to come over to Blaze Swap and we're going to click on pull. Uh, and then we're going to click on add liquidity. And then once we add liquidity, we're going to pick the two tokens that we're working with, which would be Rat Flare and USDCE. Uh, and then we would determine like how much we want. We'd put in that number of 57 USDCE equals 3268. Here it tells you the conversions down below. And then you're going to hit 
uh, you're going to hit approve. You got to approve the tokens first, and then you'll do uh, you'll provide the liquidity uh, to the pool. And that's it. Um, that's it. There's a couple of steps, but that essentially is it. Once you do that, you've now provided uh, LP or liquidity pool um, tokens. And when you go back to the pool page, you'll see that you it will show your liquidity is being provided. So you can see in my case, I've got $5 of USDCE. I've got 342 WFLR. My percentage of the pool is 0.015%. So that now makes me eligible uh, for the enhanced reward from the emissions program um, and at a 40% APY, right? Um, for this emissions programs, I'll start earning um, flare tokens, et cetera, from that, right? So that's it for Blaze Swap, right? You have to add liquidity. Uh, once you add liquidity, your liquidity will show up. And, uh, and then if you go back to the Flare portal.flare.network, you go to emissions, at some point in time, you're going to see your project. You'll see Blaze Swap liquidity. You'll see Spark Dex liquidity. You'll see it pop up in here. Okay. Um, I think I, I think I realized something, guys. I'm sorry. I think I know why this is taking so long. Because I had in my wallet um, probably a confirmation that I didn't do. Sorry about that. I just realized you have to do that in your Bifrost wallet. So that's really all it takes in order to do it on uh, Blaze Swap. And I wanted to show you that because it's, like I said, it's just not the best presentation direction at all. You've already seen me do it on Spark Dex. Um, once you do it on Spark Dex, if you go over to Farm, um, Once you provide the liquidity uh, on Blaze Swap, it'll show up on that page. Once you provide the liquidity, once you provide the liquidity on Spark Dex, you would then go find the farm. In this case, this particular farm right here, um, WFLR USDC. Um, click on this. Um, Look at these APY. Look at these. Uh, this is something I noticed too. Look at these APRs. You see these APRs: 301, 345, 320. So let's say you wanted to get the 345 percent APR, right? What that's showing you is it's showing you. And they, well, this is this is nifty. They've got it broken down: with fee APR and rewards APR. But anyway, what this is showing you is that you have to you have to select. You've already provided the liquidity pool, uh, liquidity pair. But notice these fees. See these fees over here? Uh, okay, it's going. Thank you. I'm finally getting my uh, swap on. Finally. Okay. Notice these fees. So, what does that mean? So, this APR, and I and I learned this by just trial and error. This three hundred one point seven eight percent is associated with this pool, the Ratflare USDC dot E point zero one percent fee. So what does that mean? Let me show you what that means. Go back over to pool. When you are providing, when you are providing liquidity on Spark Dex, if you want to get that particular APR, you have to make sure you choose the right fee. Okay. So what does that mean? We'll go to double-sided tokens. Let's select our wrap flare. You can see our swap is there now, and we've got a uh, USDC in here. Okay. Okay. What does that mean? So if you go down here, you see these fees, you see these 0 0.05, 0 0.01, right? That fee, that fee tear, if you look down here in the current pool stats, it tells you the APR. So pay attention to that because I went to click in trying to get the 12,000 APR, the 16,000 APR. And I just, I just clicked on the fee I thought I wanted. And next thing I know, I got the wrong one. So you can see how it changes when you go. This is so if you want, if you want the 12% uh, 
uh, 0.3%, that's the 12%, that's the 345, right? Now notice this here, when you, when you select, let's just go back to the 0.01, that's the 301%, right? Then you got the range strategy. What type of range strategy? Well, this tells you how tight, how tight your pricing has to be on your on your on your tokens. You got full range, which is low risk, low profit. You got safe, which is a little tighter. You got common, which is even tighter. Look, you got risk, higher risk, but you also have higher profit. And then if you're an expert, look how tight it is. That's not a long term play. This is going to be something you're going to be doing short, shorter term. Again, not financial advice. I'm not a, a expert advisor on liquidity pools or anything to do with DeFi products. I'm just playing around and I'm recording me playing around. So anyway, so um, but back to what I was saying, the the farm APY is associated with the fee tier, right, which you earn. That's what you earn. So. When you click on that fee tier, it shows you the APR that you're actually selecting, which is good. This is good. OK, so uh, I'm a straight DGEN. So that's just what I do. I do what I do. I'm going there. I'm probably going to play around and do it you know, uh, real tight. Uh, so I will do uh, maybe common. And then down here, it tells you like USDC per flare. It's telling you what that range is. That has to be within when it goes outside of there, then you risk the impermanent loss and, and your APRs are at jeopardy as well. So anyway, so let's do this. Let's do, we're going to do like, I don't know, let's do like, um, I don't know, let's do 20 bucks, 20 bucks. Okay. So 20 bucks of USDC. I'm going to add liquidity. All right. It shows up 1880s flare, 20 bucks of USDC. Right, fifty-two dollars is what I've got. I'm gonna hit confirm. It's gonna show up in my wallet. Confirm it. Okay. I've confirmed. I now have point three percent. I have a 0.3%. See that $52? The 0.3%. Okay, so it automatically will show up there. And then if you go back to farm, it's going to show you all the farms. And if I click my deposits, and I can see my farms. I can see my point. There goes that 0.3% guy. Click on it, and it'll show you my actual liquidity. There goes there goes my $52. There goes my $19. Down, down to 19. My flare number went up. Okay. If I want to add to it, I can add to it. If I want to withdraw, I can withdraw. Okay. Tells you the rewards are calculated in time to buy liquidity. Rewards available to claim at the end of every epoch. epoch. This is wrap flare. So you got wrap flare in there. So keep in mind, right? So you'll be earning rewards as well, okay? Because we get and on Flare, we get and airdrops and liquidity rewards, Re FTSO rewards and liquidity rewards. We get and, okay? So anyway, so there is Spark Dex. They're Sparky. Let's go back over to Blaze Swap now that we've got some things. Now that we've got some USDC, so let's go to the pool. Pool. All right, let's go to pool and let's add some liquidity. All right, let's get our two tokens, USDC and why is this not showing up? It's not picking up my USDC for some reason right now. Play swap is janky. I'm telling you, it's janky. I don't really play around on play swap because it's janky. Um, hmm. Yep. So you see, I've got sixty-one dollars of USDC left. Play swap, janky. It's not showing up yet. So I guess it's going to take a little while before it shows up. Janky. Let me see. Let me try to reload real quick. Let's 
Should be able to just. Yeah, like I said, guys, I love play swap. Janky and all. Um, right now, it's not even showing my USDC in their swap. <laughs> oh, there we go. Okay, there we go. Sorry. Okay, all right. My bad. My bad. So let's find your wrap flare. Let's find your USDC. I ain't going to give them any more than maybe like 10 bones. Add liquidity. Coming in my wallet. Got to confirm it. I'm using Wallet Connect, by the way, so that I can show you this. Otherwise, I'd just do it in my Bifrost wallet. But I'm adding liquidity. I'm adding this LP pair. You can see it says USDC plus. There's another approval. I had liquidity. I'm getting second confirmation. But you can see it's USDC plus wrap flare. So you're adding liquidity. So you're adding those two tokens together to create an LP token. And that LP token will be your receipt for what you've added in. Flare, wrap flare of 573. I'm sure that number is going to go up or down depending on the price of flare. It's going to go up or down. Uh, the pool will balance, right? It'll balance as long as the associated pricing doesn't go down. And we should always balance at the 10 bucks. Uh, well, it'd be more than 10 bucks, um, 20 bucks or whatever. Um, I got another confirmation. All right, got that. So once once this is done adding liquidity, that will be it for for participating in this in this pool. You can see now it's added liquidity. Uh, you see, there's now fifteen dollars of USDC. I had five. I added ten bucks, so it's added. It's there. Okay, but look, no confirmation. No, you know, like this is janky. Like you know, what I mean, like you would you'd be, you would look at this and you'd go, what happened? Like it takes you back to the main screen. So there's opportunities for improvement. Play swap. Let's get on it. There's opportunities for improvement. But anyway, so we're now playing and participating in the LP pool that is rewarding 40%. Um, 40%. And it says the claiming process is managed through the Flare portal. That is this screen here. Again, we're going to see under the submissions tab, we're going to see our project show up here. You can claim stuff here, so on and so forth. Okay. So this is all about the Flare governance proposal, Flare protocol emissions. There's 510 million that is allocated for this, um, this liquidity motivational incentive that will be given to DEXs, lending protocols. Uh, if you go on Twitter, there are others um, that are out there uh, that are participating as well. Uh, let me see real quick if I can put my hands on the tweet that Flare put out there showing you Ooh, I got some staking rewards. Sweet. Um, I need to get those. Um, but let me see if I can put my hand real quickly. Oh, by the way, uh, August 2nd, Friday, 9 a.m. CST, United States Central Standard Time. Hugo is going to be talking about the focus on data and compute, um, smart contract, uh, EVM, um, and also why the pivot. So if you didn't know, uh, now you know, uh, Flare is pivoting away from Layer Cake. And I'll talk about that here in a second. But let me see if I can show you. The first participating protocols are SparkDex and BlazeSwap. There you go. There you have it. These are the, these are the Flare DeFi emissions. Um, we voted on FIP 09, 510 million Flare tokens. Uh, will be provided out to attract builders, incentivize users. That would be us. Boost liquidity. Okay. Um, they tell you the benefits, blah, 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 how it works. Uh, at some point in time, I'm sure we're going to get some stuff going on with some of the others. But um, this is what Flair put out on their tweet. You got those guys. And then it says users can claim rewards from the portal, as I showed you. Um, let me back up. Users earn rewards by participating in the dApps with incentivized pools or vaults. So vaults, opportunity to lock up some stuff. I'm sure that's going to be coming. But you can claim rewards on the portal. Once you can claim that, once you claim those rewards, you'll start accruing flare drops, right? Wrap it, roll it, 
flip it, flop it, and keep going, okay? Redeeming options, follow a 12-month vesting schedule for each monthly emission, redeem unvested rewards at a 50% of their value, okay? Uh, so it shows you participating protocols. There's more coming. There are more coming. There are more coming. These are the first two. There's going to be more. There's 510 million guys. So you know there's going to be more coming um, with that. All right. So anyway, I was talking a little bit about Hugo. Hugo has his chat, his fireside chat that's going to happen on Friday, 9 a.m. Uh, and this is this is to talk about the focus of Flair um relative to layer cake so so flair has pivoted away from layer cake um if you didn't know uh hugo put out a tweet uh yesterday where he talked about layer cake here it is what about layer cake um and said that flair is going to focus you know they're going to roll out f assets and get that going um bitcoin xrp you know doge litecoin whatever uh, they're going to leave the the, the cross-chain bridging uh, on smart contract, smart contract tokens, they're going to leave that to Spark Dex, Layer Zero. Uh, they're not going to do Layer Cake anymore. Uh, he, if you look at his tweets, he talked about the fact that it's highly saturated market, a lot of very competitive, and he felt like the best use of the Flare resources are to focus on uh, AI and compute. And that's what this this space is going to be about uh, August 2nd, 9 a.m. It's going to be about uh, talking about the focus on data and compute. And so this is not the first time Flair has pivoted. Remember, Flair came out initially focused solely on XRP to be an XRP smart contract uh, capability. And then as, as the market evolved, as the market switched and changed, um, they switched with it, right? They said, okay, well, we need we need to focus on something bigger. So obviously it went from just that to, hey, we're going to be about moving data, moving data efficiently, economically secure, uh, decentralized, um, so that there's no, you know, hanky-panky going on with pricing and things of that nature as it respects to the FTSO Oracle pricing. Um, and then, of course, AI. So the the Data, I'm okay with this. At first, I was a little upset because, you know, I was looking forward to using my uh, FLR on uh, as collateral, you know what I mean, on layer cake. <laughs> of course, I can still do it on F assets, and I will, but I was looking forward to load up on, on that, uh, all the movement that was going to probably happen on layer cake as well as collateral. I was really psyched about that. But uh, a couple things. One is, from a business perspective, it makes sense, right? Um, it's more like partner or buy versus build. A lot of time, a lot of effort, high level of effort uh, from a programming and development standpoint. I'm sure they probably learned something from F assets. Excuse me. From F assets and did a re, did a reassessment and said, man, you know, layer cake's probably going to be even bigger. Do we want to spend our time doing that or do we want to focus on our focus, which is about blockchain data, which is about connecting and also the data, right? Data is the is the new oil, the new gold. It's all about data. It's all about AI and machine learning is what Hugo refers to it as. So, you know, I'm okay with that. I think strategically it makes sense. Uh, once I processed a little bit and took my selfish interest out of the play, uh, I think it makes sense to focus on um, data and the focus, the resources on the data and compute and machine learning and about moving data efficiently, decentralized, secure. So there's still going to be a lot of significant opportunities, I'm sure, with uh, with collateral opportunities. I'm sure there'll be a lot of opportunities for the cross-chain incentive, the, the 20 billion that they're using. Ten million right now. Uh, uh, I'm sure there's going to be a lot of incentives uh, uh, that will still be there, and uh, a lot of opportunity. Assets, and then obviously. Uh, hope, hopefully, Spark Dex 
and layer zero will also help move some of the liquidity on the F facets to other blockchains as well. Um, and then, you know, Hugo and his team can focus on that data. Data is going to be huge. Google has said a number of times, pricing is just what they're doing right now as it relates to the DeFi, right? But he also is very adamant and has said on a number of occasions that he believes the blockchain and, and, and Borg beyond just DeFi. Gaming, he's mentioned a number of times. A number of times he's mentioned gaming. If you go to Twitter, I, I uh, retweeted a video, uh, shared a video where he talks about, let me see if I can get to, um, Let me see if I can get to that, where he talks about um, it's just referencing a database and, and getting the answers. Um, but who who is policing the data, the opportunity to do? The FTSOs have the opportunity to go out and to query the data for that particular answer, they can go query the databases and bring back all the responses and answers to see like where's the accuracy in responses. That's what they're doing right now for FTSO pricing. It's beyond DeFi pricing, right? AI, weather, uh, tweets. Um, you know, there's so much more application, and that seems to be where they're going to focus. Uh, um, this particular the tweet right here, uh, Hugo filling on interview by the a good one to go you can go catch it on youtube as well um all that it's loading but this, this is a good one but i would encourage you to tap
All right, guys. Um, anyway, I, th I think we got cut off, but essentially what I was talking about is um, the, the data, right? All the data is pulled in from the validators. The data is, uh, is, is, is aggregated and also reviewed for outlayers. Like, you know, one validator comes back with XRP's price is 170, one comes back at 589. But, you know, the, the majority of the 780% are all at 62 cents. Right, so those that's the that's the value of the decentralized um, data collection methodology um, that Flare is deploying is that it's looking at the data, it's throwing out the outliers, it's coming up with an aggregate or an average for what has been submitted within range, um, giving the price stability without um, irregularities. But uh, that can be applied to a number of things, whether gold prices, derivatives, whatever. Right, so. Um, it's all about going out and gathering that data, making it available for developers at a cheap or low cost price. And, um, and I, I think that, I think it's smart. Look, uh, there's somebody out there at Polkadot has been talking about, man, Polkadot should switch away from Chainlink and, and consider going and using Flare's FTSO, uh, Oracle. So, um, you know, listen, I, I think there's some great things on the horizon. Of course, Layer Cake is, has been shelved, but I think there's other opportunities we're going to be be able to use our collateral and benefit from that. And uh, I think there's you know up is up is a great way at some point in time. So anyway, guys, that's all I've got right now. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, share, shoot me some comments. I appreciate you guys. Uh, great comments, great feedback. Uh, and I wanted to do this for uh, for our Blaze Swap uh, people out there as well. Thanks, guys. Bye bye.